speaking of solving some of the problems, this is kind of a, a fun question that was later down on the list when, when you and I were, were interacting. There are some problems that can be solved with AI. And the, the chat GPT-4, I believe, just came out and its updates seem to be pretty spectacular. So, like, are we artificially intelligencing <laughs> ourselves out of jobs here? Yeah. No, I, great question. I Everyone's going to have a different viewpoint on this. I think it's just an accelerant to doing better work if you choose to embrace it and you choose to learn. And again, it's like part of being a business owner is you have to be like, there's things here that I'm not so good at. And you can either hire people, you can use tools to help achieve those um, different solutions that you're trying to figure out. Uh, in this case, I think it was cool. Like um, OpenAI had like one of the default prompts was like generate me a workout program or something. So I think if you have a scarcity mindset in this industry, there's all sorts of ways that you can feel anxious or feel worried. Um, I think really it's a long-term bet that the way that people succeed is by having a coach by their side. It's like the one-to-one -one accountability layer that really is important here. And then there's obviously all the in-person technique and like form correction stuff that is really hard to accomplish digitally. But I think there's just really clever ways to kind of increase your output. So it's like, um, how do you synthesize information or how do you like yeah, figure out best in class ways to interact with your customers um, through using like tools that aren't going to make you sound like a robot, but you can kind of use it to complement some of your existing ways of doing things. So there's always going to be people out there who get started with whatever's the lowest barrier to entry. And I think this is a net positive for the industry because I mean, I got started through like playing sports growing up, but I also got started by finding training programs on like T Nation and internet forums and oldbodybuilding.com forum. Um, shout out the miscellaneous uh, section. Um, the like ways that I got into it weren't necessarily correct for me at the time, but it just allowed me enough help to kind of get past that on-ramp where I really fell in love with it. And then I started to kind of compound over time and kind of shift gears as I developed as a person. So I personally think that anything that gets people from going from zero exercise or zero effort into, you know, one version of effort is good because there's a certain percentage of those people that will churn and will fall off, but there's also a certain percentage that will download an AI fitness app or uh, do an AI fitness app for like three to six months. And they're like, oh, I'm not making any progress. There's this trainer that I saw that I really like. Maybe I'll hit them up and see if they're like taking on new clients. And so it just creates like all, it all funnels towards, I think the success of, people getting healthier, which was, which is overall a good thing.